off here again, this time for episode two of the Emirates in Shadow. Um, last time we got kind of a, the first episode, it was kind of a prologue, um, well it just seemed that way, that uh, because um, based on what happened, <laughs> we got a, kind of the story of the main character before he got isekai and we see what kind of person he was, and um, you know, he's trying to be a hero, but in the background, but um, he, he was realizing that, you know, <laughs> no matter what he does in the, he, I mean, what's called the real world, he can't like stop a nuke or if he's got ganged up by a whole bunch of trained military soldiers with guns, there's not really nothing he can do. He can't save the day like a hero in those cases. So once he got isekai, he realized, you know, with the power of magic, he can be the image of shadow. So this is his dream. Uh, he never grew out his chinibu phrase. And we'll see what happens. I'm guessing um, we'll see kind of his introduction to the other world. Or I don't know. Because at the end of the episode, they jumped to when he had a bunch of followers and stuff. So I don't know if we're going to start there, pick up back there. And then through the course of the season, we'll flash back. Or if we're just going to go back to when he just got East Guide. Um, but there's only one way to find out. So let's jump to episode two of The Eminence in Shadow. Where are we picking up? Okay, so he's younger. We're younger in the other world, right? Yeah. Alpha, okay. Oh, he's, he's sharing the information about the shadow. She's about to be indoctrinated in the shadow life. <laughs> the elf is a pushover. Alright, there you go. Why, because she believed <laughs> what he said <laughs> instantly? And now she's like in the system? Well, his system? <laughs> Your truck couldn't find him, and you know, we all know how that goes. And now he's a baby. <laughs> okay, so is this time that he's the guy where he had full thought immediately. And just like that, I get it, I'm a baby. He immediately picked on that. There's magic. They didn't even wait till he like got out the the birthing bed. <laughs> Ooh, older sister's nice. The shadow. Oh wow, he's going crazy in the background at night. <laughs> just killing Benny. Bandits and Isekai don't have an easy life. He has a gun. I didn't think the time period would fit a gun, but I guess they have guns. Yo, maybe some people shouldn't have magic. <laughs> Yo, he just mowed down the bandits, bro. There's no trial. No capture. Oh, you just experiment, dog. Shadow Yo, this guy hung himself? Ooh. Ooh. Rotting while alive. That's terrible. And possessed. Ooh. Freedom! You just started shooting magic into a blob? After a month of doing foolishness, it turned into a pretty girl that would follow you for the rest of your life. <laughs> I almost panned too far down. <laughs> oh, you have the grand act. <clears throat> Oh, he just clearly made up a story. <laughs> oh, is this from the beginning where she said everything he said was true? Oh, another lie coming. What do you about to tell her? Oh, this is where the, the shadow... 
I remain in the shadows. No, you can't use that name. This is Shadow. Well, walk on the path with me. There you go. Oh, she's with the cause. Yep. First follower. Obtained. And now she's coded in the shadow. She wants to grow the organization. There you go. Shadow Garden. Alpha. There you go. <laughs> to be weak oh well, he's playing games he's like I can kill her this way this way or this way that's more than being a Chinibu he's sick <laughs> now this man is being a ninja you can't just stand randomly stand in the water <laughs> okay so he's 15 now Dang, she was gone without a trace. Oh, mom's mad. Oh, the women in the family are the uh, the leader of the power dynamic. Dang. There you go. <laughs> so we have Alpha and Beta. Well, probably more than that at this point. Oh, the squad is already together. We just gotta look. And there's the miscommunication. Like, these people are really cool, but he made it up, so. Oh, watch, watch this foolishness now. This is like, if you ever seen Overlord, where the followers just, they just, <laughs> it just, it just works about. Oh, we move. Oh yeah, Jing Freaks. Captain other people's children? What about Gon? Oh, she known his talent. Ooh. Don't mess with her brother. Ooh. She's out. Dang. Shadow Garden's on the move. Ooh, there's a head for you. Yo, where did you learn that name? <laughs> it's real. Ooh, she got skills too. Yeah, popping pills now. Power up. Oh. Destroy the ground to escape. Got lost, of course. Well, look where you ended up. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong one, Chief. Oh, yeah? He has a lot of magic power, but he can't use it. Oh, you teaching. And he's speaking English on you. Ooh, this might be it for you. Yeah, he's the teacher, you're the, you're the pupil. Oh, he lost his daughter. Mm. So he fell to evil, okay. He's shadow. Oh. Path of a monster, huh? Mm. Get that out of here, son. Oh, or a two. What is that? M Mugetsu? Uh, reminding that his death about his daughter. Oh, turned around on him, too. Keeps it, though. 
Oh yeah, you looking for main characters and last bosses? Uh, so we'll have another time skip coming. Yep, they're gonna leave now. Bye. <laughs> Thought they were gonna work for you? Nah, peace out. <laughs> I wonder if the puzzle pieces will change every episode, showing different girls. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe she's gonna show Alpha, because she you knows she's the first girl. Therefore, main girl. Alright, everyone, that was episode two of the Edmonton Shadow. Um, we kind of see um, Sid not in this world he is uh, how he got reincarnated and he's into a, a well off family um he has an older sister that's really powerful and uh she's like the heir to the dark knights that their family usually raises so there's that but as you see sid is becoming the emirates in shadow he pretends to be like an ordinary guy average guy or a kid in this case but he's not <laughs> and you know he successfully you know, being beaten up bandits, well, not beaten up, killing bandits, <laughs> straight up killing them. He saved Alpha, and then he there he started his, his uh, his his truths, and um, he he told her about the uh, code of what, Diab Diablo or something like that, and she's a descendant of heroes, so now she has all that in her head, and she works in the shadow too, and she in the meantime. Um, as time passed, she gathered other like-minded individuals <laughs> to work in the shadows. So, Sid, also known as Shadow, has a whole squadron of these girls um, doing all kinds of foolishness at night. <laughs> and where his, where he tells them thing, and you know they kind of follow it and worship him, and hold his every word to like a high standard. And of course, he doesn't think about too much of it, but they do. And of course, it's all true and real. Um, kind of similar to how like an overlord Arn says things and they kind of follow and in different ways or another they work out to be <laughs> that way so yeah um, so you can kind of see like the the ironic and the comedic moments of <laughs> what's coming to pass and things that are going to happen in this series and also being you know having your typical isekai stuff that uh, people like so you know you get, you get a lot of different things you get waifus too so yeah all in all this is the second episode was more kind of like what the series is about. Um, I'm sure they're gonna rev it up too because as he old, gets older and there's more, he gets to the actual city, like he said, in two more years. So, yeah, um, we'll see what happens. So, until then.